Hey there, fellows. Okay, so right here I've got that engine that brought all of us so much enjoyment. The one we fitted a transparent cylinder head to. So we fired it up. And what an epic thing it was to observe the processes going on inside. It was truly tremendous. Now, in that episode, you might recall us mentioning that since we have such a great view, we might as well start the engine on on other types of fuels. Before it was obviously running on gas, but we can happily substitute that for propane gas, which is a thing, or we could feed some acetylene. As a welder, I used to work with that stuff a lot. Or we can use methanol, for example. It gives you about as hard a bang, with the entire point of using methanol being to keep the engine temperatures down. We have quite a few options then. So let's go get some ether, alcohol, an assortment of gases, use them and look on to see what changes. Whether that be the color of the flame or perhaps the engine will refuse to run altogether. Okay, let the experiments begin. Let's do this. Oh man, I love this thing. Okay, dismantle, polish, assemble, rock and roll. Okay, so the holiday season is over. But for our fanbase, we want the holidays to continue. And so we've prepared a new present for you. Everybody who spends a hundred dollars or more in our shop is gonna receive a special little surprise from me personally. It could be a video message for you or a friend, my autograph on a t-shirt or a hoodie, or an autographed postcard. Make sure to specify what you want in the order form. Always in stock we have sick looking hoodies, stylish hats, t-shirts, caps, mugs, stickers, key fobs, as well as accessories for your cars. Plus, we are always cooking up new merch ideas, so treat yourself or someone close to some Garage 54 goodness. Hit the link in the description, spend $100 or more, and get a nice little personalized bonus. Make sure to use the code GARAGE100, good for a solid discount. Transparent Head Part 2 Burning Gasoline, Ether, Methanol, etc. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, here's the situation. I do not like what I'm seeing here. Here's the reason it was running so poorly. See how this is melted? Also, it kept trying to burn through to the nearest bolt. Here, there's some clear evidence here. Here, it's also burning through to the bolt. And it's the same story over here. We really need to rectify all of this. I'm not quite sure how to go about it, though. I guess we start by giving it a once-over on the milling machine to get an even surface. And from there I just use the same method I did for the crack. As in fill the defects with resin. Okay, let's rebuild the head, so to speak. And reinstall it. Let's get to it. Okay, fellows, here is what we're looking at. I did everything I could to restore the head. During the first round, the glass was obviously getting really hot, which led to some cracking. These are at least a couple of millimeters deep, and unfortunately removing them is pretty much impossible. But in any case, the head is still very much see-through. And so here's what I suggest we do. Right here I've got myself various substances, such as methanol as well as some ether. Well, I mean, it's actually quick start. Who's even gonna sell me the pure stuff? As for the propane, that we're using high quality and clean. 
Now, you might or might not have heard that motors that have been in storage for too long are best fired up on propane. It's common practice among swappers. Also, we've got this. A white cylinder that contains a gas called acetylene. It is a dangerous thing, but we have taken some precautions. Okay, why don't we start with gasoline to refresh our memory and see what the flame looks like. We're not going to have it running for too long, but we do want to see the flame inside the combustion chamber. The color, granted, we already have before, but then we also need to make sure it even works. Good thing we've called our friends from 1000 FPS in again, with their high-speed cameras. They'll allow us to see everything happening in real time, and it's a very captivating sight. Once again, we'll be using this starter motor, which is tried and tested at this point. That's enough, I reckon. Our first attempt was a success, though it did look pretty underwhelming, so we need to try again. Okay, we just saw how it runs on gasoline. We got this nice yellow flame, but with that yellow color I get the suspicion that the mixture might be a bit rich, because I definitely get the impression that not all of it is burning. We might want to play around with the ignition, do some trial and error, but on the other hand we really can't afford to with this transparent cylinder head. What matters is that it does run, so we're not gonna touch anything. Okay, now we need to extract the gasoline and try using the gases. Okay, we've removed the gasoline from the carby, though I'm sure there's still some left in the manifold. And so let's give it a spin to make sure we burn all of it. Okay, fantastic. Now I think that propane burns at a lower temperature. Though I very well might be mistaken. It's not like I ever attended seminars on the topic. Okay, we need someone to feed the gas. Okay, propane. What's the problem? Okay, how is it? The engine doesn't want to run on propane. We don't have enough or something? Ah, oh, look at it go. Okay, let's not ruin the head. That looked pretty sick with the propane. But from where I'm sitting, there wasn't any difference in the color. It looked just as yellow to me. You got a better view, right? It looked yellow, just like with the gasoline. And so, after starting the engine on propane, from here I saw a yellow-colored flame. Didn't look any different. So there didn't seem to be any peculiarities, but then we had a look at the footage. I mean, it could just be me, but it seemed to me as if propane... Given that it's a gas, it seems to fill the combustion chamber more evenly. But, well, in any case, we've seen what gasoline and propane combustion looks like. Now we need to try ether. Wait a minute, so ether... Right, first we power up the ignition. And then we get to running the engine on ether. Okay, so here's what's up. It wasn't running very stably on ether. But we were able to see the flames on the high-speed camera footage.
you can really tell the difference. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to methanol, which is essentially poison. Come on. We've got plenty in there. Ain't having it? Okay, that's enough. That's enough, Sergey. Okay, so we had a look, and the methanol happened to be slightly diluted with water, because cars don't run on pure alcohol. I mean, typically you'd use it for a mighty old turbocharged engine with an extreme compression ratio, but this, it's a simple stock motor, which is almost 300 years old on top of that. Seriously though, they designed this back in the 40s, or the 50s. Okay, now let's try the most, the acetylene. Now I'm sure you know this is a highly flammable gas, which ignites way easier than propane and potentially even ether. But when burning with no oxygen, it produces a ton of smoke. You see that? See what's happening? See the smoke? Close the cylinder. Yeah, block it off. Okay, open it. Come on, go ahead. Nope, none. It's all good. You see, the thing is, when there's no oxygen, it's really hard to put it out. Wait, why didn't I crack open the oxygen? Ain't I a dumbass? Anyway, you saw the smoke, right? There was a lot of it. Without oxygen, it burns okay but not very vigorously. With oxygen, it's a completely different story. Okay, let's feed some of this stuff. Let's go. What the... What's wrong? Why won't it run? Let's go.
Okay, fellas, where does this leave us then? The acetylene was behaving rather interestingly. It went bang. But then after three to four more times, the engine ceased to rev up or even just run. Apparently, the cylinder head is melted once again. Yeah, plexiglass obviously can't handle these sorts of temperatures. But you know what the fun part is? We were feeding the engine different types of fuel, and if I'm being honest... Anyway, what sort of peculiarities did you guys notice? Which was slower or faster to burn? Because I noticed that certain fuels were slow to combust. You'd literally see the flame develop, while in other cases the combustion chamber would be completely filled with fuel that would burst into a spectacular flame all at once. So let us know in the comments what you think gave a brighter burn or a cleaner burn. Because with some of the mixtures, I think I might have seen particulates like... Specifically when... When we were using ether, I was seeing separate particles flying around and combusting. And that's all I got for you guys. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.